it would involve some statement uh, by Senator McCarthy that would uh, modify or withdraw unjustified remarks by him with respect to the official conduct of a senatorial committee and its members. Second, there would have to be some disavowal, it seems to me, by the Senate of the remarks which the senator made with regard to General Zwicker, for the evidence before the committee clearly indicated that General Zwicker had no choice in the matter. He had to discharge Major Perez under the order that was given to him by superior authority. First, I'm hoping that we can work out a constructive result, such as I've indicated, and then uh, perhaps wind this matter up rather quickly, and all of us get back to more pleasant work and perhaps more important work. The uh, Dixon Yates contract today is the same as it's always been. Bad public policy, wasteful of the government's money, and a very wrong position for the Atomic Energy Commission to take. In spite of all of the doctoring, doctoring, you cannot make something that's bad and unsound to begin with worthwhile. So this will continue to be a running sore, a very embarrassing part, a thing for those who have had anything to do with it. Those of us who oppose the Dixon Yates contract will certainly try to have it nullified by the new Congress. The Tennessee Valley Authority was created to produce power, among other things, for the Tennessee Valley region. Surely the Congress must be able, able to prevent it from being put out of business by some other agency. Uh, if I were to be censured for what I said to Zucker, Zucker, I might say that a senator who represents a great state of Utah, who comes here and says he doesn't know whether someone should be blamed for promoting, honorably discharging, a man who has graduated from a communist leadership school, but who says and argues on the Senate floor that the man who tries to find out who has been the secret master covering up for this man. That such a senator, such a senator, certainly is derelict in his duty, and that's putting it very, very mildly. You said you can find out Who's been covering it for press? I never could find out uh, to you satisfy you, you. I'll say that very frankly. Well, I, I don't believe you can ever be satisfied unless you can find somebody that ought to be uh, shot or hung. 